Last episode of the Mino Camino, we installed the brake lines to our line lock. This week, we're going to be installing our electronics. Let's get started. What came in our kit was a 5 amp inline fuse a switch and a light. Now we are going to need some wiring, some connectors, a crimp, and for extra safety and security, some heat shrink. Let's take a look at our wiring diagram to see what we've got to do first. Looks like we need to snag a hot lead from the battery somewhere, possibly from our fuse box. Goes to our switch and then it splices to our light and our solenoid. All right, first things first is you're going to want to lay out a general plan. I want to use one of these to steal power from my good old fuse box. There's a few up here labeled accessories. You can see up for ignition. Uh, I believe those will turn on with the ignition. You can see them right there, ignition. And this will slide right in there and then I can connect this right to that 5 amp fuse so that I've got it fused. I was originally thinking about putting my switch on my shifter, but I don't really like that. So I kind of want to mount it right here, right next to my fuel pump switch, and then install my light right here. I've taken this panel off before, so it shouldn't be hard to take that off and get all this stuff mounted where I want it. Then I'll be using this hole right here to come up and connect to my ground. So that's my plan. Let's start executing and see how it comes together. Batter. There we go. <clears throat> Connected in there. So let's go ahead and install our switch right over here. The switch has this rubber piece here. I'm gonna try putting a screw through here, to get it placed. Where I would like it in my El Camino. Right. right there. I didn't realize that my camera had fallen down, but I was able to get a couple screws in there, there and get this installed. That'll work. Aw oh, man. Well, I didn't realize my camera fell down, but I got this screwed in. One screw on the bottom, one screw in the top. Now it's time to take this off, put my light here. And connected everything. Get around that light. Light. Cool. All right, so you can see where these lights just kind of came through and went underneath this piece of plastic, so I can run my light on through there as well. Um, but we got to drill a hole here to plug our put our light in here. All right, we got our light installed there. It went pretty well, actually. So let's take a look at our directions here. Let's work on our wire from our fuse underneath there. It's gonna be that red wire with that inline fuse you can see right there. Let's run that through the dash all the way to our black on our switch. Almost forgot we do have to drill a hole for these two wires. Okay. There we go. Never gonna notice. I'm going to crimp a wire from our fuse, run it up here, and then crimp it, connect it right here so it's nice and tight. Nice and tight. I'd want to use red. But in the diagram, it's got black. 
So I want to keep things cohesive here. I do want to keep things cohesive. It was kind of hard to push those wires up, so I pushed a wire down, tied them, and pulled them through. Oh, yeah. There we go. I'm going to use a regular connector, and if it's not right, I'll just leave enough wire in here to where I can connect it properly. This is where I was getting a little confused with the black and the red. Important thing is just to know which one's hot and run your hot towards your ground. To go okay so then we got that in there and this needs to go to the light the diagram it's actually got it spliced it's placed in here at a triangle so we're gonna do that so we got black here coming off the switch And now this one, for double, goes to the light and... So I've got one wire solenoid. coming in from the switch and then two on the other side of the connector, one going to the solenoid and one going to the light. So this does need to be grounded. And this is to go to the solenoid. Cool, well, we can string both of those, so I'm gonna grab some more wire. All right, connecting a ground here. Wire. Yeah, I decided to use green for ground. Now we've just got to run this hot lead for the solenoid, which is red, and the green ground back through here. Wondering if I can get these through that hole I did for the electric fuel pump. If you guys want to watch that video, it's in the upper right corner. Oh boy, it's going to be tight. Alright, let's see if we can find another spot. Oh by golly, there is another spot there, isn't there? I may or may not have just put that hole there. There, I gotta see that hole. Okay, getting a little tight. That would explain why she's just getting a little coy. There we go. We're going to do red to red, and then our ground is gonna go up to the ground that we've got on the firewall. Let's try this red connector. And try our pull test. Good to go. Here I'm splicing the ground from the solenoid and the light so that I can just run one wire up to the ground on the firewall. Biggest ones, we got to do a, a fold on this. I used a bigger connector here, so I had to fold the single wire end. Now we run this up to our ground. You'll need one of these cord like hardly any other stuff because I was off. Okay, it does look nice and clean on the back side. Makes me feel a lot better about putting this crown there. Here we go. Boom shakalaka. Now we just gotta hook up the battery. Push that button, see what happens. The moment of truth. I'm gonna put the mic right here. Alright, here goes nothing. There's a little annoying noise. We're gonna wait for that to turn off. All right. You can hear it. You can hear it clicking and the light turns on. So you know when you got that on, take your foot off the brake. Still braked. 
You let go. Boom shuckle lock. And that right there is how you wire up your line lock. There are a few more things that we need to do, like connecting our brake lights, but that's gonna have to wait for another episode. So make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on next week's episode. If you wanna see how we did the brake lines on this line lock, you can check out last week's episode. And if you wanna see everything we've done to the Mino Camino, you can check out that playlist in the upper left.